Hi, this is Timothy Gager. I'm here with Nick Flynn, and we're on the way to the Mass Poetry Festival 2015. So, Nick, how was your, uh, you took a train from New York, right? Yes. How was your train trip? My train trip was, went very well. All right, you also had a famous memoir that was made into a movie called Being Flynn. Um, but before we jump into that, can you tell me how writing a memoir is different than writing poetry? Well, writing a memoir is different than writing poetry, because writing poetry just kind of happens, I think. Writing a memoir, you have to think about things. Like what? Nick, do you know what a memoir is? Yes, I know what a memoir is. <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> no, I don't know what a memoir is. How did it feel to have an actor that was being Flynn? Um, I really liked the actor who played me. He portrayed me really well. I felt it was kind of weird to see my, my, myself be on big screen. Now, Robert De Niro is a famous actor, probably the most famous actor in the film. He's played gangsters, and he played your father, a homeless man. Did you find Robert De Niro believable as your father? Yes, I did find him believable as my father. Did it kind of, And it was a really long, hard, difficult story. Um, did you um, feel kind of strange, or did it trigger you in any way? Um, it, tr it felt kind of strange. All right, now, now back to poetry. The Massachusetts Poetry Festival. Um, you were there the first year in Lowell, right? Yes. And uh, have you been to the Salem, uh, town of Salem for the festival yet? I don't think I have. And uh, who are you looking forward to seeing? Like, what famous poets are you looking forward to seeing? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing famous poets. Mix them up. You know plenty of famous poets. Don't you read poetry in high school, Nick? No, no, we don't read poetry in high school. Nick, who's your favorite poet of all time? Oh, my favorite poet of all time. That's, that's a very hard question. Because there's all these different famous poets. I think my favorite poet would have to be you, Timothy Gager. Really? How do you do you think your work is comparable to mine? Of course it is. Well, I mean, it's quite an honor, and I'm very humble that someone of your stature that's featuring at the Massachusetts Poetry Festival would name me as someone that you were looking forward to seeing. Are you only looking forward to seeing me because I'm giving you a ride? No, of course not. Because, like, if you weren't, like, if you didn't see me, you'd be stuck at the train station, right? Of course. What would you do? Would you start reading poetry at the South Station? Yes, I would. Go straight up, then right turn. Do you find that the GPS is a poetic verse? No, no, no. There's, there's no poetry in the GPS? I don't think so. I mean, couldn't you, if you really wanted to stretch it, could it be a narrative poem, like, go straight on High Street? Isn't, couldn't that be a line of a poem? Yes, it could be. But you don't think it's very good? No, not at all. All right. Now, you've written memoirs and you've written poetry. As a writer, I have seen you on a panel, we're going to stick with poetry, at, at AWP in Boston. And you discussed your very first book and how f your first books differ than as you work on later books. Um, how has your writing changed since the first book? Well, my writing has definitely gotten a lot better as the books go on. And I feel like I talked about deeper things in my more recent books. Yeah, I believe that all poets uh, evolve. And, you know, you can't help but getting better no matter who you are. Um, you said that Fred Marchant was someone that looked over your poetry manuscript. Are you still in contact with Fred? Um, yes, I am. What does he look like? He's got a big nose, he has red hair, and he, he's very short. He's a nice man, isn't yeah, he? Yes, he's a very nice man. You've never really met Fred Marsha, have you, Carol? No, I haven't. But it's a good description. <laughs> Thank I kind of like that. Um, so, to the festival in Salem, um, and how late are you staying in Salem? I'm staying in Salem as long as I can. Are you going to be like a feature reader? What does being a feature in a weekend like this mean to you? Uh, being a feature means a lot to me. Why is that? Because it makes me feel very special as a person. All right. Well, Nick, it was very, very uh, much of a pleasure to speak to you and to take time out in writing with me and being interviewed in my grand marquee. Um, oh, and 
Also in literature, the G fell off the back of my grand marquee. Could I borrow like a G from one of your poems? Of course you can. All right, Nick, thanks very much, and look forward to hearing your reading this weekend. You too.